Hi everyone, this is Jay from createwpsite.com and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a blog for beginners just like this one. Now if you have no experience whatsoever, you have no idea how to build a website, no clue, that's perfect. That's just the type of people we're trying to help out today with this. Okay, so before we get started, I gotta go over two things with you. What is a website domain and what is website hosting? Okay, a website domain is what your website is gonna be called. So for example, a website domain is google.com, yahoo.com, facebook.com, youtube.com, amazon.com. Those are all examples of domain names. Now, what is website hosting? The simplest way for me to explain website hosting for people who don't know what it is, is think about if you were going to build a house. When you build a house, you're going to need the land to put it on. Think of, the, think of your website as the house and then think of the hosting as your land. The hosting is where your website is going to exist. That's where all your information is going to be held for your website, your pictures, your videos, uh, all your content. Now let's get started. So again, this is the kind of website we're going to be making right here. Very simple, very minimalistic kind of blog. Um, I created this earlier and now let's go back and see how I put it all together. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is get your website domain and your website hosting. These are going to be your only fees and they would normally cost you anywhere from $60 to $100 per year, which is pretty steep, especially if you're on a budget. But luckily, I'm going to show you how to get a big discount without sacrificing any quality. So what you're going to be paying today is a flat fee of $12. And that's for an entire year of website hosting, plus it includes a free domain name. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to head over to my website, and actually when I make this video, I'm going to include a little link in the bottom left side of the actual video that you can just click on, and it'll take you to my website and do what we're about to do now. So we're here at my website, and um, we're just going to come up here to Special Deals, and we're going to click on the GoDaddy coupon and it's gonna take you to GoDaddy and it's gonna give you the special one dollar a month okay now this video is going to cut to a previous video that I recorded that's going to take you through the whole buying process and the hosting setup I'm just doing this to save time and so I don't have to purchase another GoDaddy account because I currently have four because of previous videos that I made and it's getting a little crazy so we're just going to cut to that video and when it's done I'll continue on with the actual blog setup Okay, now pick your domain name, just whatever domain name you want, something that's going to be relevant to whatever your website's going to be about. I'm just going to do this one real quick. Okay, Finance and Solutions is available. Click Add to Continue. Okay, and then after you did that, you land on this page right here. And this is just going to show you your total and... Uh, since you click that link, it automatically applied this promotional code. And just to show you, we'll remove it. 1218. If you don't have that, it's back up to 60 bucks. So put that code. I'm gonna put that code back in for sure. And then I'm gonna go here, and I'm just gonna go to proceed to checkout. Okay, and um, I'm gonna sign up as a new customer. Okay, so I just entered all my information in. It's going to be blurred out for obvious reasons, but um, when you get the account information right here, email address, username, password, make sure you write all that stuff down, or uh, just make a note of it somewhere, even though I'm pretty sure they're going to give it to you anyways. And uh, the next thing you need to do is go down to payment information and pay however you want. I'm going to choose PayPal. Okay, and then after you pay, you're going to land on your uh, confirmation page. And um, all you're going to do is, if everything looks right, 1218 should be your total. Click I agree, and then place your order. And um, that's it. You now have website hosting. 
Okay, now before we go and install WordPress, first I want you to go up here and go to Manage My Domains. And we're going to verify our email. we got to do that before we can do anything. So just uh, come right here, click Verify Email. Now check your email and there should be some type of message there. Okay, so I'm going to go check my email now. Okay, and if you, uh, you can see right here, it says Action Required. Verify your email. Okay, now that's it. Your uh, account is verified. Now we're going to click here, go to my account, and we're going to set up WordPress. And you can just you can do this if you want, or you can just skip it. I'm just going to click no thanks. Okay, so when we get on this page, we're going to go here, and we're going to go to web hosting, and click manage. And right where it says new cPanel, click setup. Now you can select from your domain. It's already selected. I'm going to go here and I'm going to create a, a username and a password. Okay, now after you do that, make sure you make some kind of note of that and then click finish. Now we're going to click get started. Okay, now you should be in your cPanel. And to install WordPress, we're just going to scroll down here to web applications and click WordPress. Okay, then come right here and hit install this application. Okay, now when it gets to this part, we're just going to leave it blank. So anytime anybody goes to this link, they'll land on your page. Scroll down here. This stuff should be all figured out for you right here. I'm going to click install. Okay, and then you'll land on this page after you're done. And um, if you ever need to uh, edit your password or, you know, any of those type of things, you can go here, view edit details. It'll give you all your stuff right here. You can edit all that. I'm going to go here and I'm going to click this one that says uh, backslash WordPress admin. Okay, so we're back and you guys should now have your domain, your website hosting, and you should have WordPress installed and you should now be looking at a page that looks exactly like this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do now is we're going to name our blog. Now to do that, we're going to head over to settings and we're going to click on general. Okay, so I'm going to put my site title as finance and solutions. And then my tagline is going to be this. And like I said, you guys just put whatever you want, whatever you feel is right for your blog. And then just scroll down here and click Save Changes. Okay, then after you click Save Changes, we're going to head up here to Appearance. And then we're going to click on Themes. This is where we're going to install our website theme or template. And just click on Add New. And as you can see, there's, you know, tons of these. And you guys don't have to use the one I'm using, but for this example, I'm just going to go here to Popular, and I'm going to scroll down, and this is the one I'm going to use, the iconic one. Click Install. And then when you get here, just click Activate, or you can uh, click this for a live preview just to see what it looks like before you install it. But we're going to click Activate. Okay, now this uh, theme is now installed. We'll just take a look at the site right now, see how it looks. Pretty empty, pretty boring, but we're going to change that. Okay, next we're going to come over here. We're going to go to Post. Actually, let's go to Pages first. Okay, and we're going to add some pages, and uh, actually we are, are going to have an About Me page, so I'm just going to click this already. Okay, and I'm just going to grab some text right here. And I'm going to enter this in. And this is just, you guys can write whatever you want. Um, I just put this here so you guys can actually, I'll show you right now. If we go here and we view the page, uh, learn how to, you can click here and you guys can actually learn. I've already uh, set these up so you could just learn how to uh, write an About Me page 
write a privacy policy page, uh, a contact us page, all that. So you won't be lost when you're trying to create your own thing. Okay, but now I'm just going to go back and back one more time and create a new page. I'm going to create a privacy policy page. Go here again. I'm going to copy this text, put this in here. And if you guys, like I said before, uh, if you want to learn how to make a pri your own privacy policy page, you just uh, you can come to this site, uh, financeandsolutions.com slash example, and uh, you'll be able to click on the privacy policy page, and you can come here, and again, this will send you to a page that shows you how to make a privacy policy page for yourself. Okay, we're going to go back and we're going to make one more page. And this is going to be the contact us page. Come here. Grab this text. Put this. Okay, publish. Let's take a look at the site real quick. All right, as you can see, we got uh, three pages right there. And if you guys uh, ever want to change the order of these right here, you just come to here and uh, click. You can put uh, one, two, or three, depending on how many pages you got. If you want the first one to be here, if say you wanted the contact us page to be number one, you would put that number one, and it would show up right here, and so on. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create some posts. Let's jump over here to post. And you guys can delete this first one, this Hello World. This is just uh, an example page that they always put when you first install WordPress. Let's click Trash. And then Add New. I'm going to come over here, get this content. Select the title. And I'm going to grab this. Okay, I got my content now. Also, uh, add new category. This is, uh, you're going to want to put your stuff in a category depending on whatever it is. For this, I'm just going to put make money online. Add new cat category. Okay, then we're going to scroll down here and I'm going to set a featured image. You guys don't have to set a featured image, but uh, just for this example, I'm going to come down here and select this one. Click set. It can pretty much be um, it can pretty much be whatever size you want. It just kind of uh, it makes it fit for you. We'll go back here, finance and solutions. Okay. Now, as you can see, we got the first post up. Looks pretty good. Now I'm going to create the other four or five posts that I have, and then I'm going to come back once they're done. Okay, so I just finished my last post, and I also wanted to mention to you guys too uh, under this tags right here. Um, if you have a special keyword that you're targeting, uh, you can just type it in right there and then you click add and uh, that'll be the tag for that specific post. Now I'm going to click publish on this. This is my last post. And we're going to see what this looks like. Okay, so as you can see, it's looking a little better. It's filling up a little bit. Got a couple of posts on there. Okay, now we're going to come up here to customize. Okay, now if you guys want to uh, add your own custom logo, you can come here and you can select an image and you can upload it. That's if you want to. For this example, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to leave that how it is. Uh, this too, uh, if you want to change the background color, right there. But for this, I'm just going to leave it as the default. Uh, social. Um, click show, show social buttons. And as you can see, they pop up right here. This is pretty self-explanatory. All you have to do is... Um, Add whatever your uh, Twitter handle is, your Facebook, Google+, WordPress, all that. Right now I'm just going to leave them blank though. Okay, and then the last thing, I'm just going to come down to uh, footer. But for this example, I'm just going to put uh, copyright 2016 finance and solutions. And then I'm actually just going to get rid of this. 
quote, make money online. Save, as you can see right there, it just switches that, save and publish. Okay, so I'm just gonna close this now, and we're gonna head back up here. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to put an ad in the sidebar. We're gonna go to appearance and then widgets. And as you can see right here, it says main sidebar. And if we go back here real quick, um, it says search right there. That's the search. Recent post. That's that. There's all our recent posts. Now, if you want to add your own banner, like I said, just click this, select it, and just drag it over here and place it wherever you want. So if we go right here, whatever we put in there is going to show up under the search. Okay, now we're going to add a banner, and I'm going to show you how to do this in a simple way. We're going to go over here, and we're going to go to a site called tinypick.com. Okay, then we're just going to go to browse, and we're going to grab the image right here. And the size image you guys are going to want to get is about, uh, to fit this perfectly, is about 300 by 250. That's the size of the banner that I'm about to upload. And you're going to get to this and just click on this and uh, you're just going to have to type in whatever it says right here. This is just to prove you're not a robot or a spammer. Okay. Now we're just going to come here and we're going to grab this, the HTML for the website. Just grab that, click copy, close this. I'm going to put this here. Just paste that here, click save. Okay, now we're just going to go back here and we're going to refresh the website. And as you can see, now you got a banner. And if you want to go right here, uh, this is the image, the image source. You don't want to change this right here. This, this is your link. So wherever you want um, the person to go and they click on the banner, this is where you paste the link in right there. Okay, and then we're just going to close this right here. Now, if you guys don't want any of this stuff, like you want uh, the meta, you don't really need this right here or the archives uh, in the example that I did. I got rid of these recent comments. You can leave that one up there and we'll just see how that looks. Okay, and really, that's about it. Uh, the site is now complete. You guys know how to create a page if you need to. You know how to... Uh, put a banner in the sidebar, you know how, know how to write posts, you know how to upload a featured image for it, you got your social stuff up here, and this site is also mobile optimized too, so it looks really good anytime you're looking at it on a phone or um, a tablet too, it looks great. So you don't got to worry about, uh, you know, if you're going to show somebody, it's going to look fine anytime you pull it up on a phone or like I said on a tablet. Yeah, and also, like I said before, too, there's tons of themes out there. You guys don't just have to use this one. You can go and uh, test out some different ones if you want. And if you don't like it, you can just go back to this, and uh, all your stuff will still look the same. Okay, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. And if you need to reference the site, like I said, just go to financeandsolutions.com backslash example. And I really encourage you guys to just go and just uh, test everything out here. Don't be afraid to do anything. You're not going to ruin your site. Uh, this isn't rocket science. You know, uh, you'll get it. It's going to be a little weird at first, but eventually you're going to start understanding it. You're going to know how to customize it and uh, do all kinds of other fun stuff. So thanks a lot again for watching. And if you have a question or a comment, leave it in the comment section below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll talk to you guys later.